हेलो एंड वेलकम टू योर फेवरेट श्रीदेवी क्लासेस यूट्यूब चैनल वेर वी इनकलकेट इंटरेस्ट एंड कॉन्फिडेंस इन इंजीनियरिंग एजुकेशन टुडे इन आवर प्लेलिस्ट इंडक्शन मोटर वी विल स्टडी डबल केज और डीप केज इंडक्शन मोटर एंड अंडरस्टैंड द कंस्ट्रक्शन वर्किंग एंड हाउ दे कंफर्टेबली मैनेज बोथ स्टार्टिंग एंड रनिंग कंडीशन इफेक्टिवली एंड एफिशियंटली लेट स्टार्ट नीमा टाइप सी डिजाइन डबल केज और डीप केज इंडक्शन मोटर स्टडीज This electric motor in blue ellipse is three-phase coil cage induction motor. It is the most rugged, economic, and almost maintenance-free electric motor, which is very convenient in operation too. That is why it is most commonly used in all industrial and agriculture and other sector activities. But normal type B NEMA design induction motor produces a very small starting torque and draw a very high starting current because its rotor got lower resistance. Now to improve to improve starting performance to increase torque and reduce starting current we have to increase rotor resistance and when we increase rotor resistance the torque speed characteristic in normal running conditions will shift adversely as a small rotor resistance motor rotate at a higher speed near synchronous speed with lesser amount of slip lesser copper losses and better efficiency and a higher resistance rotor will have lower speed higher slip and higher copper losses and lower efficiency so when we try to improve starting performance we lose running performance when one has to use ac motor for an heavy duty starting one can use slipring induction motor where the rotor is phase wound and star connected rotor terminals are brought to slipring and at slipring we can place external variable resistance and at the time of start the maximum external resistance in rotor circuit increase per phase resistance of rotor winding and that increase starting torque and reduce starting current and improve starting performance and when motor accelerate and obtain normal running conditions we can remove losses taking place in rotor resistance by removing all external resistance and short circuiting the slip rings and now slip ring motor will run at lower value of slip with lesser copper losses and higher efficiencies so in slip ring motor we have a facility to change rotor circuit resistance and we can obtain both better starting performance and good running condition but this motor is little bit costly and require more maintenance and unfortunately the rugged maintenance free and economic coil cage motor cannot be adopted for such variable resistance conditions because its cage winding is permanently short circuited now in order to provide high starting torque and low starting current conditions as well as good running conditions in square cage type of configurations we can use double cage construction or deep cage construction in rotor in the rotor of double cage induction motor we use two rotor windings in two layers as two cages and both these layers are externally short circuited by the outer layer cage is placed in slots near periphery of rotor and they have relatively smaller cross section area inner layer cage winding is wound deeper in rotor laminations with relatively larger sections and both cage windings works as parallel to each other when they are short circuited by end rings now stator of these double cage induction motors are just similar to a normal three phase induction motor where we have three phase is space displaced winding in stator core so the stator is identical for normal square cage induction motor and double cage induction motor the only difference is that rotor of double cage induction motor got two cage winding running parallel to each other the upper cage winding is wound in slots near periphery of rotor and it has smaller cross section area and lesser amount of flux linkages so due to that it got high resistance and low self inductance whereas lower layer cage winding is wound in a deeper position position in rotor laminations with larger cross section area so it got higher amount of flux linkages higher amount of self inductance and lower amount of resistance at the time of start the outer cage winding got higher amount of current and it dominate in starting behavior and high resistance of cage winding improve starting performance by increased starting torque 
and reduced starting current. Whereas in normal running condition, the current in inner case winding dominate in characteristic and lower rotor resistance produce better running performance of lower slip and higher efficiency. So two case winding got different amount of resistance and outer case winding produce its dominating effect at the time of start and inner case winding of lower resistance become effective in normal running conditions. So both starting and running performance get improved. Just like double case rotor construction, we can use a deep bar rotor to obtain higher rotor resistance at the time of starting and low rotor winding resistance at the time of running conditions. In deep bar rotor construction, we use a rotor laminations with a deeper slots positions and we insert rotor conductor of considerable depth and at periphery position there exist smaller amount of flux linkages and at deeper position there exist higher amount of flux linkages. So at the time of start due to higher flux linkages lower portion produce higher impedance and upper position due to smaller flux linkages produce lower amount of impedance. So current will distribute unevenly and resultant non-uniform distribution of current increase rotor resistance and improve starting performance. Whereas at normal running conditions due to reduction in rotor current frequencies, the effect of leakage inductance get nullified and current distribution become uniform resultant rotor resistance get reduced and running of induction motor become energy efficient at lower operating slip conditions. The construction of double case rotor can be described in detail. The outer case bar are placed in slots which are near periphery and they have smaller cross section area which increase their resistance and to further increase resistance of this top outer case winding we use either brass aluminium or bronze as conductor material of higher resistivity so we can say in comparison to inner bottom case winding the area and conductivity of outer case winding is different smaller area and higher resistivity of conductor material increase resistance of outer case winding 5 to 6 times from resistance of inner case windings. Since the conductor of outer case winding is near periphery and it has open slot, so flux around it got negligible amount of linkages with this conductor and majority of flux linked with the bottom conductor only. So this top layer outer case winding has lower value of self inductance and since it got smaller cross section area lower conductivity of material so it got higher resistance in comparison to inner bottom layer case rotor so outer top layer winding got higher resistance and lower self inductance inner or bottom case winding consist of bar of larger cross section area and they are made from good conductivity anneal copper so they have higher conductivity therefore the resistance of bottom layer case winding is lower than that of top layer winding and since this bottom layer is thoroughly buried in iron and it is surrounded by iron core material so it got higher amount of self flux linkages so it got higher self inductance as compared to top layer case winding so bottom or inner case winding got lower amount of resistance and higher amount of self inductance at the time of starting when rotor is standstill the relative speed difference between rotating magnetic field and rotor is maximum equal to synchronous speed and in that condition the frequency of induced voltage in rotor conductor is become similar to supply frequency and when motor is used in Indian power supply the rotor induced EMF frequency become equal to supply frequency that is 50 Hertz and since the leakage reactance is directly proportional to frequency of current so in that case the bottom inner winding which got higher amount of self inductance would have considerable amount of leakage reactance and that makes its total impedance much more than impedance of top outer winding though the outer winding got smaller cross section area lower conductivity and higher resistance but even in that higher resistance winding we got lower amount of impedance as compared to inner bottom winding so the current distribution become non-uniform and majority of current flow through top outer winding conductors which have higher amount of per phase resistance. So this double case rotor behave like a case rotor of high resistance. 
due to higher amount of flux linkages and leakage inductance and high rotor induced emf frequency the leakage reactance of bottom inner winding is much more than the top outer winding so it got higher impedance and top outer winding possess lower impedance so at the time of starting most of the current flow through outer case though that outer case possess higher resistance so at the time of starting the starting torque which depends upon rotor resistance the low resistance inner case winding bottom one produce lower amount of starting torque and high resistance outer winding produce higher amount of torque and since current distribution is non uniform the outer winding got higher amount of current so its torque production contribution become much more therefore the resultant torque looks like torque produced by a high resistance rotor and double case winding produce high amount of torque with low starting current and compared to a typical nima b design motor of single case structure a double case motor produce 200 or 250 percent of full load torque which is 2 or 2.5 times the normal class b nima motor and its starting current is only 4 to 6 times of full load current whereas a normal motor can take 6 to 8 times of full load current at the time of starting so this double case structure has improved starting performance and increased starting torque and reduced starting current as at the time of starting the outer case got higher current and it dominate in torque production and resultant torque behavior become a torque of high resistance rotor as motor accelerate and rotor attain increased speed near synchronous speed then slip of rotor at full load conditions or under load condition become very small and corresponding to that the slip frequency induced emf in rotor conductor also decrease its frequency and rotor frequency is s times supply frequency and slip is very low so the rotor induced current got very small frequency 2 to 3 hertz and in this low frequency conditions the inductive reactance of leakage inductance become negligible small and in two windings the impedance is mainly decided by winding resistance and since top layer outer case got smaller cross section and higher resistivity so it has higher amount of resistance as compared to bottom layer which got higher cross section and better conductivity of conductor and two resistance got a ratio of 5 so the current distribution become non uniform and majority of current passes through bottom inner winding and in torque production the contribution of top outer case winding become insignificant and this double case rotor now behave just like a case rotor of small per phase winding resistance due to lower resistance and negligible frequency of induced current the impedance of lower inner case winding is one fifth of top outer case winding so almost all current of rotor flows through this low resistance inner case winding and in this normal running conditions the case rotor produce torque mainly through current flow of low resistance inner case and a low resistance rotor in normal running conditions has very good operating performance with speed very close to synchronous speed and slip very small and in that condition rotor copper losses are also small and operating efficiencies are very high and in double case rotor the torque speed characteristic shown by this black curve which was at the time of starting is dominated by high resistance outer case winding now at normal running condition it is dominated by low resistance inner bottom case winding as bottom case got higher amount of current at normal running conditions and in that condition the torque speed behavior will look like torque speed characteristic of low resistance rotor and that produce excellent operating conditions of low slip low copper losses and very good efficiency and very small speed regulation so a double case rotor have a torque speed characteristic as shown by this black characteristic which closes to a high resistance rotor at the time of start and improve starting performance by increasing starting torque and reducing starting current and at the time of normal running conditions it looks like a rotor of low resistance and that produce small value of slip small copper losses and very good efficiencies the performance of double case rotor induction motor is summarized here by these three 
characteristic torque speed relations one of high rotor resistance shown by this brown relation which have high starting torque lower starting current but very poor running performance of higher amount of slip and very good amount of rotor copper losses and very low operating efficiencies so such rotor can have only good starting performance and won't have required running condition performance whereas another rotor of low rotor resistance will produce very good running performance with very small amount of slip and very small amount of copper losses and high efficiencies but the same low resistance rotor won't produce high amount of starting torque and can't have small value of starting current but in double case rotor as at the time of start the characteristic of double case rotor looks like a case rotor of high resistance as the non uniform current distribution at the time of starting mainly passes through outer case which got high resistance so resultant characteristic become a higher amount of starting torque and lower amount of starting current and in normal running conditions the characteristic of torque and speed of double case as shown by this black characteristic looks like a characteristic of low rotor resistance coil case motor as now the current mainly passes through the inner bottom case winding having smaller resistance so running condition is similar to a rotor of low resistance and starting performance is similar to a rotor of high resistance so double case rotor optimize its performance by the combination of both inner and outer case windings and have both very good starting performance and reasonably good running performance the main advantage of double case induction motor are listed here a double case rotor has low starting current and high starting torque as its case behave like as a rotor of high resistance winding so such double case induction motors are very suitable for direct online starting as we won't require any reduction in starting current as it is already small now these double case induction motor are also very useful for starting under heavy load conditions so in textile loom where we require a little high starting torque we can use double case induction motor similarly in compressors we need a high starting torque so in all these heavy load conditions we can use double case induction motors now the same double case induction motor which got a very good starting performance also have a very good running condition performance of low slip and very good efficiencies so it optimize both starting and running performance but the cost of double case motor is around 20 to 30% more than the single case motor for the same power rating so they are bit costly but the advantage of rugged and maintenance free design exist with double case induction motor and at many times in place of slip ring induction motor we prefer the nima class c type double case induction motor for heavy load condition starting and good running performance an economic version of double case rotor is deep bar rotor now such deep bar rotor have only one case winding and they can also improve starting performance by increasing starting torque and reducing starting current and they also possess very good running performance of lower slip and higher efficiency a deep bar rotor as shown here may be assumed of so many narrow layers connected in parallel as in this figure we have shown you three elemental layer a b c here now the layer which is at peripheral side of rotor element a have lower linkages of flux and one which is deep inside the core element c would have higher amount of linking flux so the leakage inductance of element c is much more than leakage inductance of element a so at the time of start when rotor induced emf got same frequency as that of supply frequency the deeper part of this rotor bar having higher amount of linking leakage flux got got more leakage inductance and leakage reactance and the top part got smaller leakage impedance due to smaller leakage reactance so there would be a non uniform distribution of current and that non uniform distribution of current at the time of start makes this deep bar rotor a rotor of higher resistance and that improve starting performance and at normal running conditions when rotor rotates at nearly synchronous speed slip become very small the rotor induced emf frequency also become very small and in that case the effect of leakage reactance become negligible small and current become uniformly distributed and that reduce rotor resistance and improve running performance at lower value of slip 
and reduced copper losses let's understand the two conditions one of at start and other one at normal running condition one by one in a deep bar rotor at the time of starting when rotor is stand still the relative speed difference between rotating magnetic field and rotor speed become full synchronous speed and at that unit slip conditions the frequency of rotor induced emf become equal to supply frequency and at that high 50 hertz frequency conditions in rotor bars at different elemental strips the reactance component become much more than the resistance component and the bottom most layer which is embedded in rotor core having higher amount of leakage flux or leakage inductance will have considerable leakage reactance and impedance as compared to the top elemental a position so the current distribution all along deep rotor bar become non uniform and due to lower impedance the magnitude of current become much more at top layer positions and get reduced at bottom most layer position of this deep bar rotor and this non uniform current distribution as shown by this brown characteristic will increase effective rotor resistance and due to increased rotor resistance our induction motor would have a better starting characteristic that increase its starting torque as starting torque of induction motor is directly proportional to per phase rotor resistance and as non uniform current distribution has increased rotor resistance so that results in increased start ting torque and increased resistance also increase impedance so that reduce rotor current and stator current so it also reduce starting current so we get improved starting performance by deep bar rotor due to non uniform distribution of current at the time of start during normal running condition when rotor starts rotation at nearly synchronous speed and slip become very small then in that condition rotor induced emf frequency get reduced to a very small magnitude 2 or 3 hertz and in that small frequency conditions the reactance part of different elemental layer in this deep bar become small compared to the resistance component and impedance all through the deep bar at every position become approximately equal in magnitude so current will distribute all along the long deep bar become uniform as shown by this blue distribution and this uniform distribution of current effectively reduce rotor resistance and induction motor will have better running performance at reduced rotor resistance and motor run at low slip conditions with small copper losses and high efficiencies so the same double case behavior is obtained in a deep bar rotor and deep bar rotor is cheaper compared to double case rotor but definitely the performance of double case rotor is far better than deep bar rotor so wherever we need a heavy duty starting requirement such as compressors or textile looms we prefer double case rotor in place of deep bar rotor but the both have typical characteristic at the time of start their rotor behave like a high resistance rotor and at normal running conditions they behave like a motor with small rotor resistance so both starting and running performance get optimized we assume that this powerful informative video have increased your understanding about double case or deep case induction motor now you understand the construction feature of such rotors and why they have better starting and running performance our other learning video of same playlist will enhance your understanding about induction motor and videos of other playlist will definitely improve your understanding about electrical engineering if you found these study material useful do share it with your friends and for study notes and online class support do join youtube membership of shridevi classes thank you very much